Weldaments is a great tool to use when I'm designing a part like this rally car frame in SolidWorks. Once I'm done, I can export each body into its own part file and export that geometry to something like a CNC tube cutter or some other piece of advanced machinery to cut that coping on either end. But what if I'm working in a more low-tech shop? I might want to do something else. What I'm doing right now is I'm creating a sketch of a very thin rectangle, one millimeter thickness, and I'm going to use that for the basis of an extruded cut. I'm going to choose up to surface as my distance and pick the center of the tube as the reference surface because I want to make a slot down one side of the tubing. I'm going to use a sheet metal tool called insert bends to convert this part into sheet metal. I need to pick one edge as a reference and now I can flatten it. Now I've got a shape that I can print out cut out the paper and wrap it around a piece of tube to use as a reference so that I can cut this coping out using a grinding mill. The thing you want to keep in mind anytime you're using something off the graphics window as a reference is you want to change your scale to a hundred percent in the page setup. That way an inch on the printout equals an inch on the part. I'm going to show you a little bit more sophisticated way to go about doing this. I'm going to drop this view into a drawing. Again, I want to be careful to change my scale to one to one so that one inch on the printout equals one inch on the real part. But it doesn't fit on my page. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. First I want to rotate it so that it goes flat. I need to find out that angle, so I'm just going to draw a horizontal line and use the Smart Dimension tool to measure that angle. It's about 2.16 degrees in this case. So I need to rotate the part. Just right click, go to Zoom Pan Rotate, and Rotate View, 2.16. And when I apply that I find that I'm going in the wrong direction, so I'll just change that to a negative 2.16. And now I'm lined up with the sheet. I'm going to go into my View Layout Toolbar and use the Break Tool so that I'm not wasting space in my sheet on the whole middle of that tube, which really isn't very interesting. I really just want to see the two ends. I can still use the Smart Dimension tool to get the full length so that when I tape this onto my tubing I've got the right spacing. And I can repeat this process over and over and over again and pile on all the different pieces of tubing onto this one sheet and print them all at once. Be sure to subscribe for more tech tips from Trimac. Thank you.